Hello everybody and welcome again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. So, where are we? We're on the way to make these um, overclock and coolants, weren't we? So let's carry on with that. So, what we've got so far are the cables. So we need a couple of circuits. Well, we actually need one circuit. So let's do that first of all. So, now the circuits were block of iron and I think it was three cables. So we should have a block of iron in here, we do. And we should have cables. I made a few more in between times actually. Ah, that can't be right because we haven't got the recipes for this in here like this. So I need to do an empty reload. MT stands for mine, mine tweak, I think. Oh, mine tweaks. Reload. If I can spell it right. What did I just type? <laughs> I'm sure you spotted that. Okay, script's reloaded. So now we should have some recipes in here. Oh, is it not a block of iron? And that, I mean, maybe it's different. Let me just have a look for the uses of this. Oh, and redstone. Uh huh. We are going to need tons of redstone. I'm going to have to find a way to fabricate this because it's something that's going to be used a lot of. So here we are. Now these require how much power? If I'm right, it was quite a lot of power, yes. Let's have a look. 58 million RF to make one pair of circuits. Wow, that's a lot of power. And we're gonna to have to make a lot of these. Anyway can let that do its business because what else do we need for that let's have a look so the overclocker upgrade I think we need three of these let's take another of those I think it's each time so what do we need for the overclocker remove brick now because we've done that one this okay two pipes and these 10k coolant cells so that's basically tin plate so we need for one of these we need four tin plates and this is a coolant cell which is a lot of snow and some water 64 waters and this is 64 okay that's 64 empty cells which is about I suppose I think it's probably about eight tin plates so we need a lot of tin plates let's get a stack of tin out of here we'll start with a stack of tin I will turn this into tin plates first of all. Of course, this may be yes. This is not finished yet, but we want we do want to get rolling onto here. Let's get these made into tin plates. And so we need what? I would like to put all. I need another three of these. I think we need twelve plates. Because as you see, this is fairly slow process, but when we got to make so many. Uh, we need what 63 per and we need three of these it's a lot of I'm not going to do the calculation in my head because I can't it's a lot of plates basically and we need a lot of plates for the rocket like you know we need bronze plates aluminium plates it, the bet the faster this is the better so I'm going to have to be patient with this so when it gets to seven here we'll take those out of here so we get three no that's rubbish isn't it we're getting three and we want uh, 64 probably about 21 20 would give me 60 21 will give me 63 yes that'll be fine and that's just for one of these so in fact I should let that get on with it while well, that's getting on with that, let's go downstairs here and get some more make sure we've got enough rubber going through the system here so we're going to need a lot of rubber as well let's take another stack of wood of course we can decompose the saplings as well jump over and let's have a look how much eight more rubber balls that seems to be working well now that's good i'm pleased with that as it happens have a look. I'm just having a look here. Could I've done that better? No, you'd have. Uh, whichever way I'm going, I'd have got a connection going through here, wouldn't I? So that's uh, 
think the way I've done it is probably about as good as we can get for the time being until I can get some more well I suppose I no I need the rationing pipes that was a, so I have to use the, the transfer pipes I've got this I've got this filter with me I don't want that either let's put that away over here should be stackable because I removed the items from it it was basically moon dirt yeah ME fluid export buses but not import buses hmm okay never mind so what do we get we got those eight so we'll put those into here to get some rubber wrong oh, I must click the cable so let's put those into that into there that's got 10 it's got no power because all the power is coming is being taken here first of all so that is I can't do much about that actually how is it doing for this these two circuits and maybe what I could do is reconnect up below let's do that because I've got the um, sterling generator here which is not giving any power because it's got no um, it's run out of uh, carbon this hasn't got actually it's not a very good one either but I could join this up again so let's just do that now I can't click this into place with the with the crescent hammer because you can't do it you can't get the end of it like this oh I can I tried that the other day and didn't work hmm so that should now be putting power into here. Let's have a look. It is. Well, that's full anyway. That's that set to a particular direction. No, nope, that's none. That's none. That's none. That's just a face. Which is set to output. In fact, it lost its settings, didn't it? When I, for some, when I moved it around. Okay, is that that? Oh yes, look. That removes the bits and pieces. I think you can then see it from there. Oh, actually, it doesn't make any difference. You can't see it anyway. Huh. Okay, so hopefully this is now putting power into the system. But I've got a feeling it's not. Well, that's doing stuff. Let's, oops, wrong button. Let's have a look over here, see if it's actually going down at all. Oh, it probably isn't going down, is it? Actually, that's going, if anyway, it's going up. Oops, done that again. I think the reason for that is this is not, this is the output, isn't it? It's actually not connected in any way to here. So we're not feeding the information, the, data, the energy back in again. All right, uh, that's going to be a bit tricky. I'll have to think about that between episodes. Let's have a look how we're doing on this thing. Uh, it's slowly getting there, but yeah, it's just not doing too bad. And of course, we've got no more rubber because it's that's out of power. Brilliant. I know what to do. I had a little small brainwave. Let's do it like this. Let's take this sterling generator from here go upstairs let's come in here and then let's put the sterling generator onto this cable here like that and let's take some carbon out of here what's good about this you can shift click it like that you see if I keep going see, I've got one more and then my inventory is full if I do it again it doesn't take anything you see the number on the store there's still 198 so that's quite good. We can put some carbon into here like this. And then that'll start to produce power. With a better look, we'll start to see power in here. It says it's stored one million no recipe. What? Oh that was strange. That must have been an initialization problem again. As you can see, that's actually working fine now. So we're now getting the rubber balls again. Woo, that was hard work. 
Let's put the carbon back in. Let's put another filly up. Put the rest of the carbon into here like that. Right, good. Now, still working, is it? Oh, but it's very, very nearly finished now. Good. I'm going to put these ender pulls up here. And I think we're going to make another one of these. Let's do that as well. Put that into there, and then we need three more of these. And that'll keep going. So now we've got some circuits, good. We've got circuits and those. So what do we need? The cooling cells. Hopefully, oops, I've gone, gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. I've got enough stuff in here now to do this. I've got 64 tin plates. Now we need, oh, it was 60. Basically, so I'm going to have to put all of those in there. That's going to give me three of each of these, isn't it? Now let me go and get a hopper. I don't think this will work because I think this needs an auto, an auto eject upgrade in there as well. But just in case it doesn't, let's have a look. I've got a hopper here. Item duct. I could do it with an item duct, couldn't I? Let's have a look. Let's make a chest. But hoppers aren't one way. So that would actually do that for us. And we'd need a servo. Like that. And maybe I can do that. Let's just try it. Let's put the yes. Let's put the chest up here. In Minecraft, you can put things on top of the walls. It's brilliant. Uh, without having to use a screwdriver, and we can put this pipe along here, and then we can extract that using this. We want that always to be active. And I'm just expecting not to get any plates out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because there is another... Oh, hold on. Oh, we are. It's working good. Now, I don't think actually I've got that right. Ha, ha, ha. I need that on extruding. Because we need to make tins, don't we? It doesn't matter that we've made some extra plates. Yes, empty cells is what we need. Now, we need some snow. We need lots of snow. How much snow have we got in the system here? 235 and 100 and some plenty of snowballs. Let's take these out. We don't really need these anymore because they were there for water. Actually, I don't know why I did that. So we get 26 and then we should just take a shovel with us. We can go downstairs and get some more snowballs while we're waiting for those things to extrude that is because they're going to take a long time I'm also going to make some more tin plates I'm not sure if there's a better way of doing this to be honest with you, it probably is we have to be able to automate that so we've got, we got a continuous supply of snowballs but there's no autonomous activator in the pack, so we can't right simply right click things automatically with a with a tool. But anyway, with that we can put those into there like that. We got a stack in a bit, huh? So we should get some more snow, but we need loads of snow. Sixty-four wasn't it? It's a stack per thing, so we need three snack stacks. Let's do it like this. One, two, three. And then we need a stack of those just to make one cooling cell. Wow. There we've got 48 now. Let's have a look at what the uses of these are. We can make a soft casting mold. Interesting. Actually, that might be quite good. That might be quite good. Because we need a lot of these. You see, batteries aren't a big problem. Canning machines, well, 
Well, that's not such a. We can extrude those to tin cans, and that'll smelt it to liquid tin. Assembly machine. And that, but this one, the uses of this one, we can then make. We can put that in a redstone furnace to make a casting mold. And then with that one, I think we can then start to cast stuff. I'm not sure whether the record. That's actually great. Yeah, let's do that. That's great because to make these is a real ball like Excuse my language, but it is a real pain. Because you basically got to put things through twice, and we need a lot. So let's get rid of that. So we've got one of these casts here, haven't we? So it was shapeless casting, casting like that take this and to put this into the redstone furnace you notice how I went through that door that way put that into there like that we've got some copper in here so this should work I hope let's take this out of here because one thing we need is a lot of bronze plates for doing this so this is now empty in fact let's put that up oh, don't want that in there, I want that in there should go into here like that so let's for example take some iron I think molten tin molten gold I'm actually just wondering if we can actually make tin cans directly on the casting thing that'd be cool um, iron oh it's aluminium plates is what we need that's one thing we do need aluminium I think it's aluminium let's see, tell you what let me double check it so we basically want to make, um, I th think that's for making plates, but heavy plates, a tier one. So you've got refined iron, bronze and aluminium. Ah, oh, it's just a standard aluminium plate. That's not what I want. I wonder if you can make a, a mould for this. So that's how you can make it in the rolling machine. Ah, oh, okay. We can't do it any other way. So that's oh, we'll just do, take. We'll just take a bucket of copper. We'll just make one or two of these. Let's see if we can actually. If it actually does work. At least it is working. Well, at least we could do that now with um, bronze because it's a two-phase process and it does take a long time. This actually was quite fast. Let's turn that on. Take the mold out of there. It stops it generating more. They, they do have uses these plates even in copper let's put them up there I want to keep the I I want to keep the these with me three stacks of that which is to get some more tin cans let's get some more tin out of here thirty five let's roll those it's a shame I can't cast these directly. Oh, look, one more to go. That was good timing. Makes pleasant change as it happens. Right, got a stack of that, stack of that, and 22 of those. So we should be able to now take these. And I think it's in here with a stack of snow, so let's just try that. Because this thing is now full. Put a stack of those in there and a stack of those in there. I must have misread this. Oh, do these need water? They need water, don't they? Oh, okay. And then these need cooling down. Okay, that's what we have to do. So let's put some of these in there. And that doesn't fill up brilliant. So let's take a water bucket. That's a bit of a pain actually, think about it. Just an, yet another step that isn't actually that necessary. We can craft these two together, don't we? So we can put that like that. I think I just put a water bucket up there, never mind. Actually we can leave those into there. That is, oh, well, they only did five, didn't I? Let's have a look, buckets. I didn't put anything in there, good. 
so each one of these is a bucket at a time and I've got um, 400 buckets at the moment so I've got plenty I can do it it's just a pain I would like to do one is there no other way to do this oh yes there is I'm being an idiot we've got a perfectly good tool for doing this Hopefully it's got an input bus on it. Well, I bet it hasn't. I bet it's got an export bus. This one, the fluid transport. Oh, how good. I mean, so we can put a bucket of buckets of water in here like that. And then we should be able to fill these in. I'll put it into fill mode. That's oil. Where does that come from? Oh, that'll have come from here. All right. So what I'm going to have to do then is to, yeah, that's set to output on the top. Let's change that to input. Oh, I'll set this to output first of all. Take that out so it gets rid of the oil. Ah, it's not going to get rid of the oil because there's water in the way. Right, that's got rid of the oil, so now we change that to input. Come along here, put the bucket of water into here. So it should now be filling in water. Ah, it's got oil again. Okay, what we have to do to get rid of the oil is to turn this one off here because that's coming from that side. Which is probably bad anyway, so we don't want that to happen. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just shift click it and then set this one to the input here like that. So we need to basically actually get rid of that to start with. Let's turn that off. Output that so it goes out, but it won't go out because I've got water in here. Fantastic. Right. Now it's out. Change that to input mode. Change that to blue good so now we'll get water in there oh that's an export fluid export bus oh. of course it is it's got to be on it I'll take this one off here then I could do with some more of these I don't actually know why I've, why I've actually got that on there to be honest with you right what do we want nine of those fluid import bus no I need the fluid well I can do export hold on a second it's a fluid I want the fluid export oh they're both import buses import import ah I need a fluid export bus. Maybe I can do what I want to do then before. Make life a bit easier for us. Let's have a look. Here, huh? Fluid export buses. Yes. Let's put that one up. I don't think they stack. They should do. Unless I've got something in one of those. Okay, I've probably got one in something in one of those. Like water, huh? So this time I put that onto water onto here. So this should start to fill. Yeah, it's gone blue now. Look at that. And these are filling in. Perfect. That makes life a lot, lot easier than it was before. We put, we've got plenty of water. Great. Oof. In fact, let's get those two export buses, import buses from here anyway. Put them back where they belong, where I want them to be. In fact, I think that's probably the best combination anyway. And one of these has got water in it, I think. Yeah, that one. I'll turn that off so it's nothing being sent through. Fantastic. Okay, good. That'll do nicely, actually. Actually, I'm thinking, hmm, that's wrong. That's an that's an import bus isn't it I want an export bus on that I think I do I'm not 100% sure to be dead on this with it so I'll put this into there and let's take one of those out of here because I want to basically put into this ah oh, no I don't this is the one I heat so I want the exp import bus on that yes I do to get the rubber Let's 
it's interesting it doesn't turn this around either so an import fluid bus that's the one we want and they've got the wrong one anyway so that was no use like that so we can then import into here whatever ever fluids in here and then we can take that and bring that into the into this because we've got the export bus onto that fantastic that will do that trick nicely so what are we doing in here have we got yep yeah, we've nearly got a stack of these let's take those out oh we've got a stack in a bit now so we should be able to put these two together let's see if that's what we can achieve do you know i thought this wouldn't be so hard to make these overclockers but this, my goodness it's pretty tough i think 64 and 64 and we get a coolant cell fantastic and it uses how much power a lot of power actually what's happened to my circuits what did, why did those go off I've got two huh so we need some more tin plates did I make some tin plates I thought I got some tin. I made tin cables, brilliant. Not what I wanted to do at all. Well, I'm having a bad day today. Let's get some tin out of here. Tin bucket, good. Let's put the tin onto here like this. Let's get the tin being made into ingots. And then we can take the ingots and we can put those into the system. that away in fact let's go down here I'm going to leave this bucket of water in here as well so the put the tin back and then put a bucket of water in here so we have some water so we can extract that into this when we want to At the moment I'm doing it to fill up these but of course there's another lot of power I've got five for 60 you need four more put those in there 62 this goes fairly fast now we should have enough tin ingots in here now to make some plates rolling did I do that wrong last time I thought it was rolling oh yeah that's working good so we need four ingots per we need how many do we need now we need oh, this is going to take a long time 19 so we need actually we need a lot more don't we so that's a bit of a pain oh, i've got some more snow let's go and do those what's it gone off for oh did it finish making those we've got a cooling cell now we can make one of the three that we need for this we need 14 of these don't we I'll take those goodness it's just a process of waiting and being very patient I probably do need tin cables anyway uh, maybe I can even put them back if I don't want them so I don't really care too much about that but if I remember it's just four of those around one of those will give me the 10k cooling cell so that's what we need three of these now to make the overclocker and I want to make four of these things that's going to take a long time but that's no big deal at the bottom now and these are just a lot of snow and rolling tin I reckon probably got quite a lot of tin in here let's have a look yeah 440 buckets of tin and in here we should be getting a lot of oil actually because this will still be doing oil because I've got a lot of moon dirt in fact I think the amount of moon dirt the last time I checked was 17,000 buckets uh, 17,000 blocks I mean so I look at moon yeah, and we got 12,000 so it's not going to do anything until these 12,000 have been processed well it's going to take a while but let's have a look at oil because that's all been converted to oil 28 buckets well it's not massive 
what we could do with this though is to take this like that put in a bucket of oil here now I think that might not work but here we've got this refinery here so we have to basically feed this refinery with oil on one side and extract out of it fuel on the other side so and I thought I could do it with a bucket but obviously I, this thing I can't but it will need power tell you what let's just pick it up Oh, that worked, that's nice, that's good. Uh, let's do that in here. We've got some space here for power. Yep, that's connecting up. So, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I have an idea. I think we've probably got some tanks in here, have we? Yeah, two. take a tank put a tank on one side put another tank on the other side and let's have it push let's have it configure this one so it is pushing here okay and on this one we'll say it's pulling that side so now if I'm not mistaken I should be able to cl right click this with that no I can't oh pain all right, let's go put this back in again. Can't even click, you know, funny that, can't even click it. You got that in your hand, put it in there, get an empty one. Maybe just take a bucket. I think take four actually, it should work. Oh look, what have we got? fuel that's good let's do the next one I'm sure this is what it's all about anyway and you see that fuel goes into this refinery here and comes out here as fuel rock oil to fuel there we go that's hard so anyway I don't mind about that so that's that's going to take a long time but the worst thing at the moment is getting these three cooling cells done and at that amount of power it's going to take a while but I suppose I could start to build another um, laser plus as well so what have we got in here now 21 that's enough to make another set of oh, oh wrong one that's hammer I want to extrude extruding don't I that was close we did it again this should make the tin cans or the the cells, empty cells, yes. And those empty cells, how many have we got now? Five. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for those. It won't take too long. I'm just wondering whether I should pause the video in the process. I'll tell you what, we'll do is put these away. I've got some some stuff on me that I don't want, like this end of pearls. I've got another 10k cooling cell, that's good. Oh, and you need some more tin plates. Ah, oh. actually, that's not such a problem, is it? Let's get the. They should be in here. Sixty-four, good. And we can simply can't put that into here yet, but I can take another five out of here, like that. I think it's five we need, and we can come and put those into here. Well, and we get another cooling cell. wrong try again does that not work I thought that was a recipe oh that's that's the, what we need isn't it so it's the uh, what we haven't got yet the coolant cells what I need to make the 10k coolant cell Okay, so we can put these plates into there, and when we get 17, probably need some more tin plates. Oops, oxygen. Oh. What did I say before? I like, kept, like keeping a stack of oxygen. I mean, in case I forget, and then I go and forget. Brilliant, huh? Anyway, we can see and sort out that. We just done on here like that. 
it'll both the, it'll both give me a bit of regen and a bit of food. That was aspirin and penicillin, and it doesn't give you too long, so that's fine. How are we doing in here? Forty-five. That might be enough now to complete this. Got here. 25, 45, yeah, that's 70, isn't it? So that's great. So now we can then put these plates into here. We want that to be now rolling. Make some more tin plates. So we need three of these. That won't take too long. I suppose I can speed up the fluid transport. Oh, yes, I took everything out of that, didn't I? Maybe it didn't. Maybe I can speed that up anyway, some speed upgrades. It doesn't really need to be speeded up though. I don't think it's going to change this oxygen. Oh, nearly done. There we go. Put them back in there like that. And then 33. Now we're doing it over here. It's getting there. It's slow. I would like to just make one overclock up upgrade just to see what difference it makes when we've got two in there. But the amount of work it's make, taking to do this is quite a lot. Six. Oh, that's 64. Perfect. It doesn't matter if I make extra ones anyway because, you know, we're going to need them for the next set of overclockers, which I will do between episodes. Oh, no space. I can take that out like that, doing that like that. Great. So what I'll do now is I'll just wait here. I'll pause the video and come back when these have actually been made. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I'm back again. Looks like we've got a coolant cell. We've got two. That's fantastic. Right, so next, let's go make this thing up. Yep, two 10Ks we should have. So now I think we have everything we need. Let's have a look at the overclocker again. I think this is in the assembly machine. I know it's just shapes crafting, fantastic. We can do that. Oh, we get two. Ah, oh, I didn't realize we got two. Brilliant. Now let's go and see how much difference these two make to this machine. Oh, I'll put them straight in there, do we? No, go into separate slots. Okay, so now we needed some... Let's take some more tin. I should have some tin in here, 64. Let's have a look, let's see how they get on when we put these into here. So we want rolling first of all, don't we? So there we go, rolling and extruding. Well, that definitely looks a little bit faster. Let's just take that out, put one in. I would say that is definitely a lot better. Put those in again. Yes, look at that. Fantastic. Now, the other thing I want to, like, want to do is to upgrade this machine here, the pulverizer, which is fairly straightforward. We've done that already once before and put another um, or second augment in here. So let's have a look at that first of all, because we need to do that one. Um, and I'll probably do this off camera because it's not that difficult to do. It's just following some recipes. So we need four quartz glass. Oh, that's why I was looking for the crothium dust. Let's have a look at that one. So what we need to do here is redstone. This one is the heart of bliss powder. And I think we can take snowballs with some destabilized redstone and then in the fluid transposer and that will make some bliss powder. And we need two of those by the looks of it. No, we need one. So that isn't too difficult. So we need some redstone, but that comes from here. All right, I'll do that. I think I'm going to do that between episodes because it's, or at least prepare it. But in the meantime, I will actually upgrade that pulverizer so that's resonant. So until then, bye for now.